The Obama administration issued a letter to public schools across the nation today, providing guidance on public bathrooms and gender identity. The national debate was sparked after North Carolina's controversial House Bill 2 that states that individuals must use bathrooms that match with the gender stated on their birth certificate. The letter sent to public schools states that transgender students must be allowed to use the bathroom that aligns with their personal gender identity. In regards to restrooms and locker rooms specifically, the letter sent to public schools says, quote, a school may provide separate facilities on the basis of sex, but must allow transgender students access to such facilities consistent with their gender identity. A school may not require transgender students to use facilities inconsistent with their gender identity or to use individual user facilities when other students are not required to do so. Fort Wayne Community Schools responded to the letter with this statement, saying, quote, At Fort Wayne Community Schools, we are committed to maintaining a safe learning environment for all students. When working with transgender students, there are delicate issues regarding privacy that we strive to maintain particularly as we are dealing with minors. We don't want to engage in controversy, rather we address each individual situation. Our goal is always to do what is right for our students without violating privacy rights. Director of Fort Wayne Pride Nikki Fultz is in support of this change and says that all students have a right to feel safe at school, regardless of their gender identity. Our number one priority is to make sure all students feel welcome and um, it doesn't matter if, if you necessarily agree with um, who they are as a person. The same is true with um, gay and lesbian students um, or you know, people of different races and religions. Um, transgender people need to be protected and feel safe in school. As a parent of a child attending a public school, Richard Spencer expresses his opposite view on the new legislation. I'm not going to say I'm scared for my kids, but I do just don't think it's right. It do kind of give me that well. I don't think I want my daughter to be in the same bathroom with somebody who identify as a woman, but actually not a woman. With the new legislation in place, schools across the nation will now be incorporating the changes into their individual facilities, creating a supportive and accepting environment for all students. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Samantha Zarek, WFFT Local News, first at 10.